Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're going to be talking about SCP-2181, Little Locadors. This little guy falls under the object class, Euclid, so you know we're in for a wild ride. Let's dive in and see what makes this little locador so special. SCP-2181 is contained in a standard humanoid containment cell at Site-145, which is monitored by closed-circuit camera only. The cell is specifically designed without windows and equipped with an external manual, non-electronic lock in addition to standard site-wide remote electronic locking mechanisms. The door is always to remain closed and locked while personnel are inside the cell. In the event that SCP-2181 locks the door to its containment cell, personnel are to wait 15 minutes before manually disengaging the lock and re-engaging it remotely. Furthermore, SCP-2181 is provided with a misting bottle of saline fluid that must be refilled every two days. Any requests for food, music, or toys must be brought to the site director for approval before being fulfilled. SCP-2181, also known as Little Locadors, has the ability to close and lock any door within its line of sight, as well as windows, hatches, and other coverings in walls, ceilings, or floors. However, it is not capable of opening doors from a distance. When unable to perform its closing and locking abilities, SCP-2181 becomes distressed and may act randomly. Despite this, its behavior is generally that of a typical seven-year-old child, although it has become more introverted and reluctant to communicate following an event known as Event 2181-2002. On March 1, 1976, SCP-2181 was contained after it exited the men's lavatory on the third floor of Site-145 and closed and sealed the door behind it. At the time of its containment, SCP-2181 requested to be hidden from an unknown malevolent entity or force, although details about this entity have not been provided. In order to rescue two personnel who were locked inside the lavatory with SCP-2181, the wall had to be manually breached. Following event 2181-2002, personnel are required to maintain a distance of at least 5 meters from locked doors within the containment cell if SCP-2181 becomes distressed. On June 8, 1980 at 1652, Dr. Amelia Weigand, the head researcher for SCP-2181, concluded a session with SCP-2181 instructing it to tidy up building block toys before the containment cell door was closed according to regulations. Dr. Weigand then attempted to engage SCP-2181 in a conversation about its origins, to which SCP-2181 remained unresponsive. During the session, SCP-2181 suddenly cried out and the door was locked remotely. Despite Dr. Wigan's attempts to convince SCP-2181 to open the door, it refused and a large hand with unidentifiable crystal formations emerged from the containment cell, pulling Dr. Wigan through the door. The outer door then showed a view of deep space, and SCP-2181 screamed before the containment cell door slammed shut. Following this incident, SCP-2181 was unresponsive and refused to provide any information about the entity or Dr. Wigan's whereabouts, spending 255 hours in a new containment cell before allowing remote override. On June 12, 2005, a power failure and site-wide containment breach occurred at Site-145, during which SCP-2181 did not leave its cell. After containment was restored, SCP-2181 was found playing with a small artifact made of interlocking bones, classified as Anomalous Item 2181-2001. The bones contained a mixture of human DNA, cetacean DNA, and DNA from an unknown species, inscribed with a binary code message about a little prince. When questioned about the item, SCP-2181 mentioned, Amelia sends her love, and security footage did not reveal how SCP-2181 obtained the item. 